Don't trip on your partner. You guys, the window behind me is a little bit bright today, so when we hit the floor, it'll be easier to see, I promise. Thank you guys so much for training. We appreciate you coming out. If you have any questions, please holler at me. Remember, after class, I always stick around for 15 minutes before that second class starts. So I would love to hear from you. Let's talk some jiu-jitsu, okay, my friends? First, we'll bow in. And let's go through a little warm-up, right? Maybe your Portuguese isn't super great. That's okay, mine isn't great at all. But we're still gonna count, okay? We'll get a little space. Remember, you might be on the carpet. Don't burn your feet. You might have people above you or below you. Try not to get too loud. We'll start off with some jumping jacks. Ready, and oh, dois, trains, clash. My dog does not like Portuguese. Not at all. Set, oit, nave, dej. Let's go with the side jacks. And oh, dois, trains, clash, cinco, seis, set. Oit, nave, days. Very nice. We'll start off with some squats. Hands on our gi, nice and high. And boom, deutsch, trace, quattro, sink, seis, set, oit, nave, Days. All right, my friends, we'll hit the floor. Make sure you don't uh, hurt your back or anything. We're just going to hit the mats. A little break fall. All right. Let's go 10 break falls right here, guys. Nice and easy. Just getting our back loose. You don't got to slap the mat too hard. Keep those hands safe. Ready. And boom. Deutsch, trace, chin to chest, watch your hand, and six, six, eight, nine, eight. Very nice, my friends. Let's go bridges. We're gonna alternate our bridge today, my friends. We'll go over our right shoulder and our left shoulder. Remember, we reach the direction we're looking. Ready, and ohm. Dois, tres, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, Nave, Dej. Let's go shrimps. Shrimping will go on both sides. So remember that when we shrimp, our leg that's on the side that we're shrimping, right? So if I'm on my right side shrimping, my right leg, leg will straighten. Watch out, little crouch. My left leg will post. My frame stay nice and high. Pro tip. If I lay completely flat on the ground here and shrimp, I have to fight the friction of my entire body on the mat. Uh, it works, but when I have an opponent on top of me, plus all the friction, I can feel very stuck. So I like a little bit of a bridge and then a shrimp. So my hips are slightly off the floor. No more friction. I have to bear the weight of my opponent a bit, but without the stickiness on the floor, my shrimp can really move me, all right? We're gonna alternate sides. So it'll be a right shrimp, left shrimp. Make sure you're pulling yourself back into square, home base, and we'll get back to work. You guys ready? Here we go. On our right side first, and boom. Doge, trays. Quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Good work. 
Get me out of the warm up. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Ooh, triangle time. Triangles. Nice little rock on our back. Remember, we're going to pick up our hips nice and high. So your triangle isn't here. You'll never triangle me with your hips on the floor. You won't be able to fight my posture enough. We got to get up, then close the triangle. We'll alternate side to side. Take care of our partners, AKA your floor. Don't hurt our back. Don't hurt you. Ready? Triangles. And boom. Doors. Trades. Quattro. Sink. Saves. Set. Oit. Nave. Days. Good work, my friends. We're on our right side. On our right side. There we go. Right elbow on the floor. Left hand over our right wrist. Watch. Remember to finish this rep, we pick up our hips just a bit. Kind of like stand up in base, but on our right elbow. From the finish, we'll sit our hips down. We'll lay to our shoulders. Rock to the left side. Come up on our left elbow. Hiding our left wrist watch. Rotating sides. Come on, sit ups. Ready. And oh. Deutsch. Trace. Quattro. He's being weird. <laughs> Cinco. I'm not going to like lay down. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nave. Dez. Good work, my friends. One more tough one. All right, let's go jiu-jitsu sit-ups, a.k.a. grappler sit-ups. Remember, if you're new to this movement, you can totally fall all the way back with the momentum to help rock you up. If you feel comfortable with this movement, we're gonna try and stay sat up the whole time. We're gonna tuck our left leg, heel to hip. My right foot's out in front, post it on the floor. Now, another level, right? If I'm still learning this technique, you can put the hand behind me. So whatever foot is tucked, that same side hand will be posted behind you if you need it. Because it's gonna help me roll my hips over my shin that's tucked. So I put this underneath me, I roll over my left shin, all the way up into my lunge. If I feel good with that, I'll rotate, my hands will stay in front, all the way over that right shin. We're alternating reps, ready. And right heel tucked, boom. Good work. Deutsch. Trades. Quattro. Cinco. Come on, quarantine snacks. Seis. Set. Oito. Nave. Days, good work, my friends. Whew, let's catch our breath for a second. I would like to get into our passing. I would like our passing to include the hop over we've been working on. Since I have a partner, I want to show what the hop over looks like, like the why we would use a technique like this. All right, so let's check this out. It starts with our Toriano pass. We're gonna go two pants grips on the legs. If you have just a pillow, two hands on the hips. If you have a stuffy buddy, just pick up their legs. We're gonna put their legs on the floor. We're gonna shuffle to the right. Now off this shuffle, Beth most likely is already starting to shrink away. She doesn't wanna give me the space between her knee and elbows. So as she's coming down, my right knee hits the floor, my right shoulder hits her, but because she's already on her side and trying to ball up, I can't really swish her flat. 
And what she can do here is push my head to her belly button. Now she's turned one more time, and she's back into her guard, right? So the Toriano law, an incredible pass, easily my favorite pass. There are some answers for it, right? But I, I like to think about it as they're not really defense, they're just kind of deterrence. And if I'm willing to work past the noise, the pass is still on, right? So when we pass, two pants grips, feet to the floor, shuffle to the right. Right knee down, right shoulder down. If I don't have a partner with me, I'm just gonna bring my head to the floor on the same side as my knees, just as if she had pushed my head over. Now, whatever hand is on the side that my whole body is occupying relative to my partner, get close. And now I pick up my hips because now I can either float or I can walk to the other side. Because what I'm trying to do when I pass, I'm always looking for that diagonal pressure. I want to control a hip and the far side corresponding shoulder. Because if I can get this straight line of pressure, this diagonal straight line, sounds funny. She can't shrimp away like that, right? She can't move her hips. It doesn't matter if her hips go because I have the shoulder on the side that she's shrimping away towards. It, she can't pull into me because I'm blocking the near side hip. Now from this position, we're gonna let go. We're gonna go scoop up the arm and the head and we're gonna get into side control. Now, what I would like in this side control is to find case katana. So from your far side pin, you're gonna go right hand, it's gonna grab the shoulder. Your left hand's gonna go get this elbow, lift that left leg, and slide through to case katana. You got your underhook, so we don't give up our back, right? This isn't a headlock or a judo style pin. I don't wanna do this today, like a, not against it, but Definitely some risks, right? Jiu-Jitsu likes to play this position with an underhook. So much less likely to expose my back even as she's trying. A lot of her escapes from the headlock position don't work against this style of front headlock, this case katami or scarf hold. So what I'm looking for here, I'm done. Once I'm into the case katami, I'll hop off. I'll stand back up. <coughs> And we'll run it again. <laughs> so everybody hop up for me, grab your gi dummy. Maybe your pillow, doesn't matter. Just a placeholder, right? We just need something to move through. Perfect. All right. Starts off on the legs, pants grips or hip grips, depends on if you got a pillow. We're gonna back up, get a little space between you and their feet. Shuffle to the right, don't cross those legs. Now, my right knee's gonna hit. I start pushing the arms away so there's a space right above the belly button. I put my shoulder on it. Now, we're gonna move our head to the same side as our knees. Put it on the floor like you're a kid. Give me a little headstand. Right hand pose. Pick up those hips. Hop over to the left side. Now from here, let's go get the side control. But I really want this elbow, right? This inside crank. So we're gonna get a hold of it with our left hand. We're gonna step up our left leg. And now we're gonna slide our right leg through while we pull up on that near side frame, digging it out. Perfect. Now if you want, go back to side control. Put your cross face on, switch your knees. But notice how different this side control is because you've got rid of that inside frame. Now it'd be really easy for us to move to the mat. Everybody feel good with that? Anybody got questions? Thumbs up, you feel good? All right, perfect. So grab your partner, AKA your buddy, hop up to our feet. You're gonna run the pass to both sides. You're gonna find modified case Katami on both sides. If you get lost, Beth will be running the technique over my shoulder. So just hop in on her rep. All right, my friends, anybody got questions? All right, let's try it on three. Give me a clap. One, two. Yeah, get to work. Get to work, your clock's on. 
Keep going. Toriando. Perfect. Head to the same side as your knees. Hop over. Find side control. And from your side control, go dig out that near side frame by sitting through to modified case katana. Nice, super sticky. And then we can go back to side control if you like, because you dug out the frame. It'd be so easy to find them out now. Perfect. We'll hop back up, run the rep on the other side for me. Nice. Toriando, perfect. Side control, but we can't get it to stick, right? They're, they're giving us too much defense. They're getting on their side. They're trying to regard, so we're gonna hop over their legs, avoiding the regard. Perfect. Side control on that other side. Not quite done until we can sit through the case, Katami. Money time. 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. Nice. Good work, Rich. Super smooth, good hip pressure. Ten seconds, give me two more reps. Two more times through. Nice. Good work, Eric. And last rep. Finish this last rep for me. Let's go. Toriando. Post our head. Hop to the other side. Side control, sit through to Case Katami, get rid of that near side frame, back to side control, perfect. Good work, my friends, bring it in. Let's add to it. So I wanna keep that same thing. I wanna go around the world though, right? So we're gonna use that hip switch that we use to get to Case Katami. We're gonna do that all the way through. Let's find north, south. Let's find Case Katami on the other side. All right, my friends? Ready? You ready? Yeah. Hands grips. Shuffle to the right. You know this part really well. Toriando. Remember, with your pillow, it can kind of have a tendency to collapse on us, and we end up falling on our side. I really don't want to practice this. If I fall on my side, my partner's gone. I have no base. So even though the, the P dummy doesn't give me great stability, I'm still going to practice keeping my belly button facing the floor, right? So not on our side when we pass. I want to be stable like a table. So in case she does move, I'm able to hop up and go with her. So when you pass, Oriando, even though the pillow is going to collapse on you, make sure you get those knees nice and wide so you stay on top. Belly button to the floor. Now I move my head to the same side. Pick up my hips, hop over. You know this part. Go dig out the inside frame, step up, sit through the case to Tommy. Now we'll go north south. I have this arm, it's mine. She's probably gonna frame with this hand now, right? So we're gonna take this arm. I know it's a little tough in your key, dummy. Just something to visualize. You're looking for your elbow to cut the armpit. So my elbow is going to slice through and find this far armpit, right? And now my hips are going to switch. My left leg is going to step over the face, and I'm going to move to north-south. Now in north-south, we're going to do the same elbow cut. My left elbow is going to cut across and find the armpit on this side. But because of the, like, the nature of the position, I don't really want to get balled up here, like forcing it to the armpit. So let's think about that diagonal line of pressure. Let's go to the hip. So now my chest is still on my partner's chest. I'm going to back step. So if my left elbow cuts across to the far hip, my right leg back steps. Falling onto my left hip, putting me into case Katami on the other side. All right. Now from this case Katami, 
We're gonna pull up the frame. We're gonna switch our hips. And now with this frame nice and high in my armpit, I'm gonna go find the face. Move into side control. Pro tip, notice my right elbow. It is not on the outside of my leg. I won't be able to keep best left arm, so find a way back in the whole today. When I go to side control and I've killed your inside frame, it's not done until my elbow ends up inside of my own leg. Now there's no way she digs this frame back in until I'm ready to move on, right? Like she gets a little stuck here. From this position, I'll hop up and we'll run again. All right, everybody up, let's try it out. Okay, it starts with the toy on the pass. Hands grips, shuffle to the right, right knee down, right shoulder down. My partner's gonna move my head to the other side. I pose my hand, pick up my hips, hop over. Side control on the far side. Let's dig out the inside frame by sitting through. Case gets on me, very nice. Now my left elbow is gonna cut to the far armpit. My left leg is gonna step over the head north south my left elbow cuts to the far hip i back step that right leg case gets on me on the other side i go dig up the near side frame pull it into my hip side control i find the cross face i pinch my elbow inside my own leg to finish all right does anybody have any questions we feel pretty good with that all right, my friends, let's try it on three. Give me a clap out on three, one, two. Very nice, let's get to work. Toriando pass. Hop over to the other side. Sit through to modified case guitar. Step over the head for north-south. Bring that elbow across the hip, back step. Case gets on me on the other side. Nice, dig out that inside frame. Get to side control again, but this time your own elbow's inside of your thigh. Really sticky here, their arm's stuck in your hip. Very nice, Eric, very nice. We're back up, we'll run again. Toriando, hop over. Nice, sit through to Case gets on me. Step over the head for north-south. Back step, Case Katami, the other side. Nice, fine side control, but you've killed that inside frame. Your own elbow inside your thigh. Don't give them that frame back. That arm is yours forever. Nice, hopping up, run the other side. Toriando, perfect. Head on the same side as our legs. Hop over to the other side. Find Case Katami. Step over to north-south. Perfect. Back step Case Katami on the other side. Nice. Good work, good work, good work. Give me 30 more seconds. Keep the pass, hop over. Nice. Sit through to Case Katami. We'll step over to north-south. We'll bring our elbow across the belly and back step Case Katami on the other side. Find a good side control. Get sticky. Perfect. One more rep, one more rep. Nice, good pace, good pace. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath in these movements. Jiu-Jitsu style, manage that breath. Perfect. Nice, Quan. Stepping over, very nice. And good work, my friends, we'll bring it in. Whew, let's catch our breath for a second. Now, 
Let's go from side control. Let's talk about some attacks we can use in this position. I want to start just specifically in the side control, and then we'll come back to the flow, okay? So I want the flow to be, uh, don't forget, we're going to finish class with it. But right now, let's just look at some technique. Let's start in that side control that you just established, where their inside frame is dead. You have a cross face. My right arm is going to be a little shoulder at justice. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I want this person's face to look away because I know that their guard goes wherever they're looking. So if she's looking, if she's able to look at me, she's going to be able to trip away and bring her knees between us. I need her to be facing the other direction. Pro tip, my right hand. I'm going to take my fingers and curl underneath her uh, scapula, and I'm going to take those four fingers and dig them into the armpit. Use it like a hook grip. See that right hand? With this hook, I'm going to start bringing my pressure forward, my shoulder into the chin. This is going to allow me to kind of lock her down a bit, reestablish re my elbow under my thigh, and now she has a lot of work. Okay, she's got to be really careful here. First, she needs to watch this arm, right? This tasty tree is set up for me to attack. So most likely, she's going to put it in front of us, right? She doesn't want to leave it over my left arm because then I start to step over on bar. So can you bring that back? If it's just hanging out here, if she's hugging me, which is pretty common at the lower levels, or if it's uh, MMA or self-defense, like if you're at Whole Foods, this person's probably going to try to hug you because they're afraid of getting hit by you. So they're trying to stay close. This doesn't really scare us though as you do guys. Because I can always bring my elbow in, push the head, and now we're into our arm bar, right? So if she's trained, she's gonna be keeping that arm in front of our face. So we're gonna attack it. Now, my left hand, it's gonna get in here just a bit, get underneath her elbow, go ahead and keep it. Now, from here, I'm gonna move my right hand. This is why it was so important that we got this frame stuck. Because when my right hand comes out, it's gotta hold this elbow up into her ear. It can't let her frame get free, right? So if I'm really loose here, and I bring my right arm over, notice how her inside frame is going back to work. And now she's moving on me again. All right, so. <laughs> We're going to stay sticky, bring this right elbow into the notch, bring this back. Now, from here, guys, we're going to comb our hair. Sounds a little funny coming from the bald guy, but I need to find this frame. She's hiding underneath my chin, right? She doesn't want to give it away. So we're going to look at her. We're going to bring our elbow that's in the notch, and we're going to go through this space. So, you see her elbow bent. We're going to take our right hand and go over her bicep, under her forearm, and start to point it to the ceiling. Exactly. And what's going to happen is this hand is going to comb over my hair. And when it does that, it's going to pop this arm out of this hidden space. So, we're here, elbow in the notch. So, my right elbow right in her ear. My right hand. It's going to go over her bicep, under her forearm, like I'm going to try to touch my left shoulder. All right. When my hand hits my left shoulder, my chin goes to my palm. I put my chin in my own hand, and now I comb my hair. Notice what we've done. We've dug out the frame. It's no longer there. Now, this is going to feel a little funny without your gi dummy, and I'll talk about that in a second. But the idea here is we really want to practice this motion to dig out the frame. Because with the frame dug out, she can't hide it. We're going to Americana Kimura her. Yeah? So we comb our hair. The frame pops out. First submission, the Americana. Remember, guys, when you Americana, if you leave it right here, you may or may not get the tap, especially if she's really strong. Gonna start extending the arm out and messing me up. So before we go, pro tip, put their hand on the floor. And now take your left elbow, the one that's 
right by their belly, pull it to her hip. Notice how Beth's starting to reposition. The pressure on her shoulders is tremendous when I collapse the elbow towards her own hip. Now, I don't care how strong she is. I keep her fingers on the floor. I take my left hand. You guys ever rode a motorcycle, right? I want to turn the throttle here, okay? So the idea is that my left hand is going to stand through my right wrist. And what that will do is notice how it starts to lift my left elbow. It's going to start cranking her elbow to the ceiling. It's sitting on top of our left elbow. But my right hand stays down. Her hand has to stay on the floor, but she won't, she won't tap here. So when we get to this, I bring her elbow to her hip. Now I keep my right hand pinning her hand to the floor. I start to curl my left hand over my right wrist, floating her elbow. You know, it's really hard to see because the motion's very small. But the idea here is that if I'm fighting Beth and she's much stronger than I am, if I don't keep this space tight, she'll just muscle out of this grip, right? So we're gonna keep the elbow to the hip bone, hand on the floor, and now really gently start rolling your left hand through your right wrist, floating their elbow to the ceiling, bench. All right, so everybody hop up, or don't hop up, we'll stay in side control. Stay in side control for me. Let's work this together. Remember, their near side frame is already dead. It's in your hip. Your right elbow is in your thigh. They're going to have their imaginary frame in our face. Now, if I'm using a key dummy, I just bring that arm and just bunch it up, put it underneath my chin. Perfect. Now, from here, my left hand is going to grab the shoulder, make sure she stays stuck. My right hand's gonna come off the cross face and go elbow into the notch on the far side. So right where her neck meets her shoulder, my elbow sets on the floor right there. I'm gonna pinch her here to my knee. Now from here, guys, that right hand's gonna lift. That right hand's gonna shoot the gap. It's gonna slide over their bicep, under their forearm, trying to touch your left shoulder. There we go. Now, once it's on the shoulder, I want you to look at your shoulder so your hand can go over your face. And now I want you to take that right hand and comb your hair, your imaginary hair if you're bald, and look how that frame pops out. Now, my right hand's going to turn palm down. It's going to catch her wrist. My left hand's going to let go of the shoulder. It's staying under the arm. It's going to go to my own wrist. So left hand on my right wrist, my right hand on her wrist. We're not gonna try to finish here, guys. Bring the elbow towards the hip. Yeah, there we go. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Right hand pins their hand to the floor. Left hand curls, start pointing that elbow to the ceiling. Americana finish. Now guys, eyes up for a second. Don't forget the rep, but here's why I want everyone to be very, very good at Americana's. You'll never finish this. Like, I mean, I don't mean to be, I don't want to say absolutes, right? Sometimes you're going to get Americana things. But let's talk about when you're a black belt. When I'm a black belt, this person knows to get on their side to defend the Americana. But look what she did. She's exposed her back. So this is why everyone has to know the Americana, because we're looking for back exposure with it. When she defends the Americana, now I'm able to bring my knees up behind and we'll switch to our back attacks. Does that make sense? So it may feel like, ah, oh, man, I don't want to mess with Americana. Like that's, I feel like I'm muscling in this technique. This is a setup rather than a, a submission. Same way I viewed it with Morris. The figure four, the wrist lock grips, these are setups to get to the back. If we get the submission before then, that's awesome. But more likely, it's going to cause this person to expose their back when they try to defend the submission. Everyone feel good with that? Questions? No questions? Thumbs up? All right, let's try it out. From side control, on three guys. One, two. Perfect. Now remember, I'm watching you. Best gonna work on Stuffy Steve. We're starting in the side control. We bring our elbow to the far notch. Right, yes. And now we're gonna take that 
right hand, and we're gonna shoot the gap. So, there we go. Your right hand's gonna go in front of their bicep, over their bicep. Now you're gonna comb your hair with that hand, exposing the frame, put their hand on the floor. Nice. Figure four, our grips. Now we're gonna slide that elbow towards their hip, locking the shoulder, right? I don't wanna impinge the rotator cuff. Now we'll start rolling that right hand over the wrist. Notice how their elbow starts to float. There's our tap, very nice. We'll let it go. Again, this should be a pretty easy movement, guys. It's just fundamental, right? Like, there's not a lot of steps to this. It's just that integral to your jiu-jitsu game. You have to have this setup. It's going to give us lots of arm bars, lots of back attacks. Perfect. Good cross face. Bring the elbow over. Drop it in the notch. Now here comes our hair, our comb in our hair. Perfect. Notice how Beth brings her right hand under the forearm, over their bicep, combs her own hair, pops the frame out. Nice, Richard. Yes. Very nice, Steve. Pin the hands. We're ready to rock and roll. Elbow to hip. Perfect. Chicken wings for days. Perfect. A couple more reps here, and then we're gonna add all this together in the flow. Nice, good work, Jesse. Elbow to notch, see that left elbow? Yeah, there we go. Bring it, uh, your left arm over the head, buddy. Yep, yes. Like we're isolating this arm, taking this tasty treat home. Comb our hair. Pop out that inside frame. Now we'll attack. Very nice. Good work, Eric. Good pressure. Make sure we keep that chest down, guys. We're trying to stay heavy. We want them to really try to be getting on their side. But if we, let, if we make it obvious, they won't go, right? Make them feel like you want them to be pinned here. Get them to resist, and they're going to pop up and expose that back. Perfect. Perfect. Elbow in the notch. All right, my friends, let's stand up. Let's hit the whole rep together. The whole chain. Perfect. It starts. Toriando, let's pass to the right. Right knee down. Right shoulder down. Head to the same side of your knees. Now, guys, that left hand, keep it, uh, keep that left shoulder in your belly. My right hand's gonna post. Pick up my hips, walk to the other side. Find side control. Dig out the inside frame by sitting through to modify case katami. Perfect. Now let's bring our elbow over. Let's step over the head to north south. Now left elbow across the belly. Back step. Find Case Katami on the other side. Nice. All right, here we go. Knees together, side control. Put your gi dummy's arm right underneath your chin. There it is. Now, we're gonna bring our right arm over the head, elbow in the notch. Really pinching their head up into our hip. Pro tip. Eyes up, fellas. Pro tip. Don't leave their head on the floor. Right? If I leave her head on the floor, I can't really pinch her that well. And she can use her head as a post and wiggle and bridge. Right, 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 right. Bring this elbow, slide her head up onto your quad. Try to touch your elbow to your own knee. Now it's very hard for Beth to use her head as a post. She can't really bridge anymore. All right, she's stuck. Or bridge. All right. Now my right hand, it shoots the gap. It's going to go over their bicep under their forearm, trying to touch my shoulder. I put my chin in my hand, and I comb my right hand over my head, exposing the frame. And here we go. Post their hand to the floor. Left hand grabs your right wrist. Don't go yet. Slide their elbow towards their hip. Nice. Now we'll finish. Rolling our left hand. And guys, 
if your D dummy will let you, once you've got the tap, right, your imaginary tap, from this position, I'm going to use my knees and I'm going to start walking my partner up on their side. I'm going to let go of the Americana. And I'm going to bring my elbow to my hip bone inside of their frame and expose the back. Nice. Here I'll connect my arms. And now we'd be ready to step our left leg over for the technical knock. Okay, so here's where we'll finish. Perfect. If you want to attack the back there, you can. But for now, I'll just hop up and I'll run the rep again. All right, everybody feel good? Let's run it one more time. Stick with me and Toriando. Post your head. Hop over. Sit through the case, Katami. Nice. Step over for north south. Back step in the case, Katami on the other side. Side control. Now bring our right elbow over, put it in the notch. Right. right hand shoots the gap over their bicep, under their forearm, touch your left shoulder. Comb your hair with your right hand, pin their hand, Americana. Pull their elbow to their hip. Now finish. Then we're going to use our knees, walk them up on their side, take that right hand out, pull it to your hip, scoop behind the head, connect to your seatbelt grip. Perfect. From the seatbelt grip, step that left leg over. Now we're into the technical mount, man. Tons of attacks, lots of submissions from here. I'll hop up. Run it again. You guys feel good with that? Thumbs up. You feel good? No questions? All right, let's run on three, my friends. One, two. Perfect. Work time. The whole chain. Toriando. Hop over. Sit through to Case Katami. North, south. Perfect. Back step, Case Katami, the other side. Nice. Let's go side control. Let's go elbow in the far notch. Start isolating their frame. Comb our hair. Push that hand to the mat. Bring their elbow towards the hip first, then find your tap. Now use our knees behind them. Start rolling them up on their side. Take that left elbow out, scoop behind the head. Connect to the harness grip, step over. And we're ready to attack the back, maybe attack the mount. So many options here. This is why the Americana is one of the first things you learn from side control, because it opens the door to the back. Good work, good work. Keep moving, keep moving. Trying both sides, my friends. This is jujitsu. It doesn't care about your favorite side. It presents you with the problem. You got to have the best solution. Nice. Good north south. Good. Super sticky. Good work, Eric. Way to keep that inside frame. Yes. Yeah, I love that. Bring their head up onto your quad. It's harder for them to bridge and escape. They get a little stuck. There's some really nice chokes from there that we can go over in the future. Once you get the taps, start rocking them up on their side. Let's expose the back. Find your grips, step over, mad chokes, arm locks. You might even chair sit to the back. Good work. Nice work. Good work, Steve. Super smooth, buddy. Hey, good work. Quan, nice sit through. Find the north south. I know we're kind of glancing over north south today, my friends, but we'll get to north south. It's one of my favorite positions in jiu jitsu. So many attacks. Nice. Find side control on the other side. Set up your Americana. From your Americana, set up your back attack. Perfect. Thirty more seconds. Try to get two more times through the chain. Two more times through. Nice, Quan. Very nice. Exactly. Just so many options. Once we've broken them down to this point, 
they're not doing anything but trying not to tap. And they're trying not to tap is just making it worse because it's advancing our position. If we don't find the tap, we will find their back. And then I know you'll find the tap. Nice. Hey. Scoop up the head. Nice, Richard. Very nice, buddy. One more rep. One more rep. Ooh, look at the purple belt getting fancy back here. Showing some back attacks. Perfect. Nice work, my friends. Super clean. Super clean. Hey, good work, my friends. We'll take a break. We'll fix our geese. Everybody stand up for me. Ooh. Uh oh, my head's cut off. Nice work, my friends. Guys, thank you so much for coming in and training. Thank you for spending your Saturday morning with us. Remember, we have another class in about 10 minutes. So if you want to hang out, chit chat, hear about you and your jiu-jitsu. If you have any questions, let's go over it. And then we'll get ready to train in our all levels class next. I think it's really important, guys, this class. This is the funniest class. We would teach this the same way in person as well, right? I think it's really important to remember that jujitsu, we get a little bit stuck on labels, like, oh, this is this technique, this is that technique, as if there's these hard lines in between these positions. But that's just not the truth, right? You've, everyone in here is probably trained at this point. Most of you cats I know, so I know you've trained. Jiu-Jitsu, uh, it's a word that describes an, an entire flow of movements, right? Everything is so interconnected that one piece, one word doesn't do it justice, right? I can't describe it in one word. I'd have to write a book about the flow we worked on today. Jiu-Jitsu really helps me thinking about the big picture off the mats too. Right? Like, uh, I start to really recognize, okay, the pass isn't just the pass. It's not enough to just pass. I also have to maintain the pass from around the world. It's not enough to just have side control. i got to set up the attacks. I probably won't get the submission on the first attempt. Where is that going to lead me? Where am I going? It's all one big sentence. Often that's just the same way. Right, right now, sucks. Right? There's a lot of ways that right now it's just not – not what anyone would wish for. But right now isn't a hard stop either, right? There's still gonna be more to this story. So I don't wanna get too stuck thinking like, this is where the period is. Jiu-Jitsu taught me that everything flows into the next thing. Everything's one grip away from the next thing. Tomorrow's gonna be another day, right? This part of the story isn't the end. So let's try to remember, like when I get a little stuck off the mats, remember that on the mats, Jiu-Jitsu has asked me to keep that big picture perspective at all times or none of it works. So just something to play with, my friends. Hopefully I'll see you in all levels. Thank you guys for training. We'll bow out. Thank you. Hey, good work, Purple Bell. Thanks, man. Guys,